This is one of my favorite stories because it happened very early in my practice. I was working with a family whose 13-year-old son, Brian, was diagnosed with autism. Before they started care, Brian would be so anxious and nervous and jittery that he was just wired throughout the day. He'd actually wake up at 4 in the morning ready to go for the day. With all this anxiety in his body, he also lacked a lot of development and coordination skills. So he had a hard time writing. He couldn't move very well. He was sort of clumsy and sloppy. And he also suffered with asthma. So if he'd go outside and play, he would come down with an asthma attack and he couldn't really engage with the kids around him. So we started adjusting Brian and one of the first things that parents noticed is he started sleeping better instead of 4 a.m. Mom said for the first time ever, she actually had to wake him up before school when his alarm went off because he was still sound asleep. He suddenly started sleeping in routinely till seven in the morning. Huge difference for parents. And the cool thing was, is he started being calmer in his body. Not only was he less anxious and less nervous, but he could start to coordinate and develop better. The teacher said for the first time ever, he was able to write a three in class. His occupational therapist said there was this ropes course that Brian would sort of play along the bottom, but because he wasn't very coordinated, he didn't explore it very much. After getting adjusted for a while, suddenly he was climbing up to the top because his body felt so much more connected to his brain and he could coordinate and get through it. Now, as we continued care, one of the things parents came in one day and shared is that when Brian was outside playing with his cousins, suddenly he wasn't coming down with asthma attacks anymore. He didn't need his inhaler so he could go out and have fun and play with his family. And then one of the funnest moments that I had with Brian was one day he came into the office. He was so excited as he usually was. And he looks to his parents and he goes, can I show him? Can I show him? And they're like, yes, Brian, of course you can. So he goes, Dr. Ty, Dr. Ty, watch this. And he bends down and one piece at a time, he slowly ties his shoes. Now, he had been 13 years old and up until this point had never been able to tie his shoes because he lacked that coordination. And he was so excited to be able to show me. Now, how did this happen? Well, when Brian first came in, these were his initial scans. And as you know, we want to see the white bars. Well, his body had so much stress, there was hardly any calm going into his brain. As we started adjusting him, with his next scan, you can see all these white bars. So basically his body went from stress, 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 to now moments of calm and peace. Now we still have some work to do when we did these scans, but the point was his body could see amazing changes. And one thing I really wanna emphasize with this story is with all the people that come in to get adjusted, whether it's kids or adults, we're not treating your specific issue. So in Brian's case, we weren't treating his autism, his coordination, his asthma. But what we were doing is helping the brain talk to the body even better, the best that it could. So whatever potential Brian had in his body, we could bring that out. And as we start to bring out the potential for you and your family, it's crazy because we see such amazing things. So I want you to keep that in mind as you're going through care that there's pretty cool potential for you and your kids. And that healing ability that's always in there is just needing to be brought out. And that's what we do with our adjustments. I'll talk to you guys soon.